so colorism who is really making up all these colorism um, stories who is really making black girls very insecure so my story is when I was in high school I have been bullied by um, I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna say what happened how it is if it's black people who did it I'm gonna have to say it. when I was in high school I was bullied the most I said the most by black boys I had a few black girls that we had a little bit of issue but it was because of black boys were putting us against each other like make us argue make us fight telling um one of us oh she is prettier than you or something like that and then the other one gets mad or he says something about me to her and you know how girls can be a little insecure once you messed up their ego everything is wrong now so by the time I was in high school I was being bullied a lot they were calling me names they were telling me that um, that I'm fat that I don't have butt, that this and that they were making fun about my hair and all of those things turned out to be that I love myself that I realize that I am beautiful and that I am worthy so um, I I asked for help I spoke to the teachers so many times I've told them what was going on I was very depressed when those things were going on um, I, I could barely speak English so you can see that speak talking to them was a struggle for me and so I would until one time I was crying in class I, I was arguing with these boys like I said these black boys and they were from my country they were from Cape Verde they spoke the same language as me and they didn't help me at all they were just bullying me and it kept on going over and over and nothing was being done to stop them even if the 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 teacher told us to stop um they didn't stop they kept on going and kept on going until that one day um this was around my senior year i believe so it's been going on since um since freshman year or eighth grade I, I've been here since eighth grade and they were bullying me calling me names doing all those things in class talking about me so I went to the t so I went to the principal because the teacher put me out I was crying and the principal told me oh so this is really what's been going on um, they've been doing this and that to you and nothing was being done and I say yeah like it, it's been going on like I'm tired of it I'm sick and tired of it and the teacher was like okay let's go to class so by the time we went to class he was going after these kids getting mad at them oh why are you bullying her leave her alone and, I, and the thing is I, I never understood why they were picking on me so much every single day every single day like if you hate me so much like that why are you bullying me and keep on going about me it, it must be an obsession with somebody to bully them every single day and I had um, one guy in class that that had standing stand up for me it was um, a Mexican boy he, he he stand up for me he said stop doing this guys leave her alone why you keep bullying her why you keep picking on her like leave this girl alone stop torturing her and still today I remember about that because when somebody do something nice to me I I appreciate them for the rest of my life I am always I'm I am always thinking about it and every time I think about it, I'm like damn this person have 
help me thank you oh sorry i'm just moving the the lights and i just be like oh my god this person was there for me thank you so much may god bless this person may, may god help him if he's going through something and still today i i've been very traumatized by the things that i've been through in high school